America is at a crossroads on many issues, leading many to ask, is it time for President Obama to blow the silver horn left behind by the Founding Fathers in case the country ever needed them? Of course, the horn, which has been sitting in the Oval Office since 1817, has never been used by a Commander-in-Chief, but many Americans think now might be the time to summon our forefathers. You know, if I could blow the horn, I would. Whatever the problem is, you know those guys can fix it. Halfway through Obama's second term, and it seems the country's more divided than ever. I think you should blow that magic horn. Joining me now are Glenn Shatterton and Linda Hudson. Glenn, we all know the enchanted horn was passed down to future presidents with the understanding that it was only to be blown in times of great difficulty. Does this qualify? We don't want to waste their time. Well, of course we don't, Michael, but it's right there on the back of the Constitution. In times of great and dire need, once in every century, this silver horn the founders shall heed should a president summon we. The bottom line is this. Americans have the right to be magically saved by their founding fathers. Yes, but is this really a time of dire need? If we sound it now and the founding fathers fix everything with their superior intellects, we'd strip our children and grandchildren of that right. Glenn, hypothetically, if a Obama were to blow the horn this year, which founding fathers would come back? All of them. Uh, look, look, when you have a bug problem, you call the exterminator. When you have an America problem, you call the founding fathers. Uh, they know what to do. A lot of people are wondering if after being awoken from their centuries of slumber, would the founding fathers be able to fully understand many of today's problems? That's a valid question. <laughs> come on. Ben Franklin was a genius. He invented the bifocals. I'm sure he can invent something to, to, to save the environment. And Jefferson handled spying during the Revolutionary War. So there's the NSA soft. We Look, have to keep in mind the Founding Fathers left us with a warning. If you blow the horn with less than pure intentions, it will turn to tin and can never be used. But a president has to take risks. Obama should have the courage to admit that his administration is not all-knowing, and, and, and blow that magic silver horn to summon someone who is. Yes, but what if we become too reliant on them and they disappear after the next new moon, as was written? Yeah, that's why I support Congress's plan to, to uh, entrap them uh, using technology and, and, and keep their strong and capable hands on the helm uh, forever. <laughs> yeah, well, in a perfect world, but I am a realist. I guess you'll have to agree to disagree. Thanks, Glenn and Linda. Next up, are America's nerds too gay to show up to school with a gun?